Yes, you find me in Studio 2, uh, the magnificent Studio 2 that I always say I wish the walls could talk because what a story uh, they would tell. And we're here until July, actually, and then we're going to move to a completely um, different building. And part of the history will, of course, be space. Um, they were here. Uh, it, uh, do you know what? It's November the year before last. So we're talking about 14, 15 uh, months ago. And at the time, only um, uh, Tommy and Yorkie uh, came in because you didn't realise, did you, actually, that we had this big push no, studio? I didn't realise how big it was, no. So we always promised you a return visit. Mm -hmm. So it's lovely, lovely to see you all. And uh, Leon and um, uh, Fanny um, joining us as well. Hello, poor Leon, stuck in a cupboard. I always feel sorry for the drummer. I never do. It's <laughs> terribly lonely, isn't it? Stuck in a cupboard, bunged <laughs> away. Don't make too much noise, you know. Um, so the last time we spoke to you, obviously, this album, Suburban Rock and Roll, has been in the making. Um, yep. A big chunk of it since then. Yeah. yeah. And it's ready to go. Ready, when is it actually in the shops? Um, 8th of March. Right. It's be out. Okay. Uh, now, why was there such, that, you know, such a gap? Well, basically, um, it's got to be right, you know what I mean? We wrote lots of versions of the album, and um, they weren't right. You know, just refining it, isn't yeah. it, you know? It's got to be the right songs. I'm not just going to put out anything, you know. No. And I feel like we've got the right songs. So how many songs did you have before you actually whittled it down to this collection? About 52. <laughs> <laughs> One for every week of the year, was yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, week six, six song. <laughs> um, but it must be difficult because there is a point where you have to stop. I mean, you, you know, you're sounding like ultimate perfectionist. Mm. But at what point do you actually go, we can do no more with this. Here we go, that's it. We've got to get it out to the public. Yeah, we got to um, steal our own our uh, who produced our first album, Spiders, and mm. once he came in, it started to click loads then. Mm. You know, so we knew when the time was right to start then. And a new label, yeah, um, R&M, random. Right. <laughs> Very <laughs> clever, isn't it, hey? Um, how, how, what's it, you know, how does it feel like being, being with them? Are you, are you comfortable? Yeah, they're fine. I mean, like, it was, that was another major thing, finding, like, a home, like, finding a label who actually believed in us as much mm. as we did, you know? Instead Must be of just seen us as product, you know? Well, oh, I hate that word. Yeah. I hate the word product, and I hate people saying punters. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it just sort of, it has no respect for anything well, whatsoever, does it? the punters deserve more than that, don't, don't they? Well, the punters, <laughs> yes, deserve better product. Uh, but not from you, because yours is fantastic. And what are you going to do for his first phase? We're going to do uh, the single, Suburban Rock and Roll. Fantastic, good one. My family, I'll drive myself forever just to make things better, and our will is strong, so we keep rolling on. I hate that coward in my dreams, cause when I wake. He hunts my soul, try to forget, but he won't go I hate that coward in my dreams He steps in front of every girl Lash the suburban rock and roll I hate that coward in my dreams God damn that coward in my dreams Like a burning oil And you're my running stream And we're the winning team I hate that coward in my dreams Cause when I wake he haunts my soul Try to forget but he won't go I hate that coward in my dreams He steps in front of every girl Lash the suburban rock and roll I hate that coward in my dreams God damn that coward in my dreams I 
I hate that cow within my dreams Cause when I wake, he haunts my soul Try to forget, but he won't go I hate that cow within my dreams He steps in front of every girl Slash a suburban rock and roll I hate that cow within my dreams Life's a suburban rock and roll Suburban rock and roll, that space. And uh, Tommy kept uh, giving me the nod all the way through. You see, because how I kept my hands going, ah, rock and roll, rock and roll. And Paul's, what are you saying that for all the time? <laughs> and um, that's a world spacer coming in tonight. And I've been dying to know who does that bit. Nobody does it. And you guys. It's Franny. What, you know, the, is it, is it yeah. normally you? Uh, yeah. Because I want to have a go at doing it. Um, but I didn't want to do it there to spoil it for the people who get it on playback, you see, on the website. And I thought, they don't want me yes, over the top. Why not? Um, <laughs> so just one bit where I can actually do it, please. Go on. Just that bit where you go. I hate that coward in my dreams Cos when I wake he haunts my soul Try to forget, but he won't go I hate that coward in my dreams He steps in front of every girl Life's a suburban rock and roll I rock and roll, rock and roll Life's See, that's all I want you to do Because <laughs> I love it, I really love it And <coughs> I'm sure the audience, every time I do play the, the track I do that as well, so there she goes again um, Liverpool, city of culture Big vibe going on up there at the moment? There certainly is, yeah, mm. yeah Everyone just, uh, I'm just so pleased we won it, like Yeah you know what I mean? Good on the other cities who went in for it, but I, I thought it was pretty evident we should win it. How is the excitement, <laughs> the award, um, and everything? How is it manifesting? Lots of new mode? buildings. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lots of new investment in office blocks yes. and penthouse apartments and that. Hopefully, it'll filter down into like you know more resources for in, like musicians yeah, and, and the people arts like and that. that. But um, what about um, the, the music scene? Because it's particularly healthy. Um, uh, the Coral, obviously. Yeah. You know, yourselves, you've got the Zootons, you've got Lady Tron, and you've got the Stans, who I know you yeah. love, Tommy. Um, they're actually coming on the show in a few weeks' time. Um, does something like being awarded um, European City of Culture 2000, um, do, does that help the music scene in any way? To tell you the truth, it, it might help new bands trying to get places and that, but you, you know for yourself, Janice, that it's always there, isn't it? The mm. music's always never there. goes away, does now. it? It just comes right. People go to different cities and then come back to Liverpool, you know. Well, um, it was interesting. We were having a conversation before and um, along with, is it Memphis, you were saying? That's the one. Like, yeah. oldest music centres. Yeah. And, um, and it never goes away. Anywhere, does it? I mean, Birmingham's got it. Manchester's got it. But it's where people choose, I suppose, record companies mm -hmm. quite often choose to visit yeah. and, you know, see where the next big thing is. Well, that's it. I mean, all, these, all the bands who are just playing don't really care about that. You know, they're just playing the songs, you know what I mean? And hopefully someone will come along. But, you know, they're not going to stop playing just for the record, waiting for the record company, you know. But it, I think it is quite interesting in that um, at one point, you know, and relatively recently, people did stop being musicians. It wasn't, a, people mm -hmm. didn't see it as a, a justified career. And, um, and now th people just go on and on, don't they? That's it. I'm made up. It's come back, you know. But I love that. I love dance music and all that as well, like and things like that. And, but um, the yeah, rock and roll is always going to be there, Janice. <laughs> right. Um, the next tune from Space is going to be what? It's called the day the English language let me down. Oh, this is great. This I love this. They say that we don't go together, but the sun comes up and we're still feeling fine. Some wish we were never born Just because the curtains are all drawn On time We're travelling on false passports And we've been caught Caught committing crimes And it feels like God is everywhere But it seems like God is never by my side All my words done fail derails me and this is the day that the English language let me down this is the day that the English language let me down all the golden girls and the golden boys know your enemies in a cutthroat town 
And we come here from nowhere knowing there's nothing left but music and a family And that gets me down We're traveling on false passports and we've been caught, caught committing crimes And it feels like God is everywhere, but it seems like God is never by my side All my words don't fail me Every line derails me And this is the day that the English language lets me down This is the day that the English language lets me down Oh, they say that we don't go together But the sun comes up and we're still feeling fine Some wish we were never born Just because the curtains are all drawn On time We're traveling on false passports And we've been called caught committing crimes Oh, and it feels like God is everywhere But it seems like God language let me down it's face um live on radio two playing tracks uh, from their new album suburban rock and drill uh tommy scott vocals and guitar uh, franny griffiths vocals and keyboards leon caffrey on drums and david palmer who i, I can only call yorkie i'm sorry but that's, i've known you for that for years uh bass guitar and vocals um you mentioned you were saying that dance music there but each of you do different things, don't you? And, and Franny, haven't you been involved in doing some dance and R&B stuff recently? I've, yeah, I've been uh, working with a, a group of uh, boys and girls, like, uh, a lot younger than me, like, so I feel, yeah. uh, I feel a bit fresh, like, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but it's been yeah. great, yeah. Mm. It's, it's, um, but to be honest, I can bring that into our music as well. Well, I was going to say, does it add another dimension, something else yeah. that you can put on the I mean, table? We've always been like that, you know, mm. we're just, just bringing different things in. And... Um, Actually, I've, I've been really enjoying it. Like, but you know, this is this is what pays the wages. So I will come back here. It's a shame. <laughs> now, what about the, the, these um, kids that you've been working with, though? Are there people that we should look out for? Is there anybody? Um, you yeah, say? I mean, there are, as I say, uh, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. Uh, blow their trumpet at the moment, like, but it's it's just in early stages at the moment. But it's it's looking really good. There's a lot of interest for them at the moment, right? Right? only because of me, like. <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tommy hates me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and Yorkie, I mean, you are so prolific, aren't you? You're always doing oh, loads gosh. and loads of stuff. <laughs> yeah, Franny always says he doesn't know where to get the time. <laughs> where do you get the time, the yeah. energy, I the just motivation? Don't sleep. Really? I just don't sleep at all. Uh, Total just... insomnia. <laughs> he sleeps after a bottle of red wine, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> but you are, you're always on the go writing. And yeah, stuff, yeah, right? just something you do, isn't it? Yeah. And we can't talk uh, to Port Leon, but I'm sure he does something on the, <laughs> on the side. <laughs> he practices yeah. and he's getting very good. And uh, Tommy, what about you? Because um, uh, do you write other stuff that maybe, you know, wouldn't necessarily be used by, by space? Or is it yeah. the one song a week for space? No, it's just for us. <laughs> yeah. I just like writing for us, you know, because mm. that's what we're about, you know. Uh, and the artwork, of course, the album, which I said, I love the, I, can't, I have to try and describe it to people. It's, well, it's, it's a door on its side, which is made to look like a house, and then you get this other door within it with these mad eyes and yet another door, and it's all very brightly <laughs> coloured. Is, is that a fair description? I couldn't describe it any better myself, Janice. <laughs> I was thinking, God, I hope it's not wrong. <laughs> it's meant to be something else. <laughs> that's better than mine. Um, and, and you obviously en en enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. So, because I've got a mo that model. Do you remember that model? Oh, yeah. It's brilliant, that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Um, so, yes, you're very arty. Um, we're talking about um, the, uh, English language, and uh, Jeremy Vine, 
on his show has been um, discussing great rock and roll, well, great song openers, and I think something like, um, uh, I'm only 30, I slept with your mother when she's dirty. I love that. Yeah. Um, and, oh, my snot, oh, the snot has caked upon my pants, <laughs> which is from um, Love. Uh, uh, love the, yeah. Yeah, I forget the title. Uh, yeah. Written by Mariah McKee's. Um, late brother, actually, that song. Really? Uh, which I just thought, what a <laughs> yeah. line, what a line. And then, of course, I first met you hanging knickers on the line. <laughs> <laughs> which you wrote, didn't you? Pray so, yeah. Um, from um, You and Me Versus the World. Um, can you think of any great openers? Yeah. I like a party with a lot of atmosphere. That's a good one, isn't Russ! it? Russ! <laughs> <laughs> Russ is God. There was a fantastic video to that as well. Yeah. Party with an atmosphere, my goodness. Anybody else got any? Uh, I love it. I am angry, I am ill, and I'm as ugly as sin. But he thinks that's just a confession. <laughs> <laughs> that's magazine, oh, a song from under the so floorboards. <laughs> you're so cruel, Tommy. And Leon loves Shut Up In Your Face by Joe Dolce. Oh, please. <laughs> what is the opening line to that? I can't remember. What's the matter, you... Oh, that's hey. it. How could I forget? <laughs> um, you've got a sort of mini, a tourette, shall we yes. say, uh, coming up 22nd of March, um, Homeland, Carling Academy. Uh, Manchester Hop and Grape on the 24th of March. The Islington Academy on the 20th... Everything's going to be the same now, isn't it? Uh, Islington Academy on the 25th of March. And then the 7th of April at uh, King Tut's um, Wawa, followed by a, a full national tour, mm -hmm. uh, which would be great to see you on the road. And can I just point out to people, the, uh, the website uh, has changed. It's now www.spacetheband.net That's the one, yeah. And then you will find out when it's all about to change to something else. So it's www.spacetheband.net um, Yep. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Is there anything else we need to talk about? I don't think so. I think you can play another tune. Yes. What are you going to do? This is called Quiet Beach. Quiet Beach. Oh, she kicked and she bit me All summer long She stood at the edge of the sand All summer long And on some quiet beach We sing songs for the sea And on some quiet beach We found our virginity We took pretty poison all summer long. We were washed up and wasted all summer long. And on some quiet beach, we sing songs for the sea. On some quiet beach Here with the waves we And on 
some quiet beach We sing songs for the sea And on some quiet beach We found our virginity And on some quiet beach We sing songs Some quiet beach Lost with the ways we breathe Space Live on Radio 2, and uh, that track is Quiet Beach, and um, you'll find that on the album Suburban Rock and Roll as well, which is on R and M uh, Records. <laughs> find our virginity. What a wonderful line! And why was I suddenly thinking it was the fellow who lost it, Bobby Goldsborough, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Some of the first time, yeah. and he has all those washy beach sounds yeah. and stuff. And I started thinking about that. that was a cracking line. That uh, Twenty Million Miles from Earth, by the way, um, which they haven't played, but um, is on the album. Will be the next thing. Oh, I love zombies, you know. It's a good one. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you, thank you very, very much indeed, Always each a and every us. one of you. It really very is much. lovely to see you. And uh, we've got these cracking T-shirts to give away. Uh, the pink one has Pretty Suicide on it, and then you get the Mad Eyes from the cover of the album, and then the blue one has Pervert on it, <laughs> um, and the Mad Eyes <laughs> from the cover of the album. We've also got five signed singles um, as well. So I tell you what, um, I'll say goodbye to this lot, and uh, you can hear some programs news james taylor and then i'll um, pose the question after that but thank you thank you very much thank indeed you. thank you Lots of love.